It's been 11 days since that night. I left work with the front door unlocked. And it happened. a little spawn. She's fine. Why, did you hear something? No, I just saw you rocking her earlier, so I figured she was up again. Just now? Yeah. No, I wasn't. Marley? Honey, what's wrong? I saw you in here like five minutes ago. Okay, well that's impossible because I just got home. Well then who's holding our baby? Honey, there's no one in here. I think it's happening again. No, 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 don't say that. Don't blame that one on this again. This is real, Sydney. You look so tired. You've had a lot going on with work and that court case. I think you really just need to- To what? Lay down. I know what I saw, Sydney.
excuse me. Do you know who I am or something? I don't think so. Why do you ask? I'm sorry, you just have a really uncanny resemblance to my wife. Do you live around here? Actually, I live right up the street next to the shack on Thursday. You were in my apartment last night. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. And that's a pretty serious accusation. I know, and I wouldn't say anything. I would just say it to protect my family. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I wasn't there. Yes, you were. Stop lying. Hey, if you're not yelling here, I don't want to have to help you. You're freaking crazy. Just shut the fuck up and tell me why you were at my place last night. Don't so you come here, my family. I was telling you about the one that was in our house. Oh, Harley, you didn't stalk her, did you? No, 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 no. She was, she was at the store, and I took a picture to show you. Oh, that is so wrong. But look, Sydney, look. She looks just like you. Okay, I believe you. I believe there's a woman out there who looks like me. I don't know if it's the same one you saw in the house. And if it is, then we need to do something about this. Like what? How are you doing with the Soraya case? I'm hearing it seems pretty heavy from what I'm hearing from the news. The, the media is going to make up a villain in every story. There's not one in this case, and I'm really not sure how that has to do with the situation we're talking about right now. I didn't say that it did. I'm just making sure that the repercussions from a manslaughter case isn't interfering with your mental capability. I'm just worried about the safety of my family. That's all. Then I recommend you take a nice, long, uninterrupted nap and think about the place you first saw this woman and what she possibly means to you. If you have seen her before, or she triggers a specific memory, then she's probably just a phantom trying to misguide you what's important in your life. We all get them Look, sometimes. Doc, I'm sorry to cut you short. We don't have a lot of money right now, and we can't afford a babysitter. We certainly can't afford these sessions, no offense. So if you can just give us a solution to this whole mess, then we can all just go on our way. If you've not seen her in this town before, and you think she's going to intrude in your personal life again, then I think you should put a camera in your daughter's room that will alert the police as soon as she has left the crib. You can turn off the camera with the personal code when you're playing with her. That way, the system knows you are the ones that are with her and not a stranger.
give her back to me. No, you don't deserve it! Stop. I've seen how you are in public. You're not safe! You're not safe to leave her! Marley, please, give her to me. My God! I saw you speeding down the service road. I called your wife. You need to sit down. You need help. But she lives here. No one lives here. Not for two years anyway. If you talk enough sense, then you'll lose your mind. 